Hello and welcome to ThoroughGood's presentation on introducing SQL Server 2016 Polybase, native integration with Hadoop and Azure Storage. My name is Austin Fierro and I'm a business intelligence and analytics consultant with ThoroughGood. So let's get started. With growing data volumes facing businesses, it is imperative that they leverage all the data at their disposal in order to make the best data-driven decisions possible. Now in the past, the large majority of businesses relied on SQL Server or relational data to make these decisions, but with the emergence of connected devices in the Internet of Things, along with large influxes of semi-structured data, there is a wealth of new information available that is being stored in platforms such as Hadoop, HDFS CloudEra, HD Insight, and Microsoft Azure Blob Storage or Data Lake Stores. Now I want to mention that Polybase is available natively with SQL Server 2016, so no extra purchases are needed. Now as we can see in the diagram, Polybase acts as the bridge between SQL Server 2016 and the storage frameworks like Hadoop and Azure Blob Storage. Polybase allows the user to use this T-SQL language that they are familiar with to query data that is both in relational format in SQL Server and semi-structured format like it would be in Hadoop. I should note that you're still able to use the same BI tools that you are used to and connect these two separate pieces of data seamlessly and easily. Now if you watched the other video in the series, you will have knowledge of the business uses Polybase offers. For this video, we will be exploring the more technical aspects of Polybase. Now again, as I mentioned, Polybase allows you to connect SQL Server 2016 to Hadoop and Azure Blob Storage. So as a user, you can write a simple T-SQL statement, like the one here, with a select star query joining a relational database to a Hadoop file on a common key. Once the query is submitted to SQL Server, the SQL engine does a cost-based analysis optimization on whether or not it wants to stream the dataset back or it has the option to convert the T-SQL statement into a MapReduce job. And this job will be pushed into Hadoop and take advantage of the parallel processing and only stream the results back. Now I want to emphasize this is all done in T-SQL, so there is no need for users to learn MapReduce or Java or any other language in order to take advantage of Polybase. I know we talked about Hadoop here, but the same concept can be applied to Azure Blob Storage, where the SQL engine reaches into the cloud and pulls back on the data. Now so far, this may make sense, but it does raise the question. Hadoop and Azure Blob Storage data can be extremely large, sometimes on the scale of tens of terabytes or even petabytes. So how can a single SQL Server instance handle all that data volume? This problem is easily solved with a Polybase Scala group. This is done by having multiple SQL instances linked together into what is referred to as a Polybase Scale-Out group. Now this allows for massively scalable and powerful massive parallel processing. A Polybase Scale-Out group allows you to create a cluster of SQL Server 2016 instances. This will allow you to leverage things such as Hadoop's parallel processing architecture and improve query time. As we see from the diagram, we have one and only one head node along with several compute nodes. The purpose of the head node is that it is a SQL Server instance to which all queries are submitted. Now the compute nodes contain SQL Server instances that assist with the scale-out query processing on external data. So let's take a closer look at the Hadoop cluster here. As we can see, each SQL instance connects to each data node in the HDFS cluster. This allows the T-SQL query submitted to the head node to be broken up into multiple pieces and distributed across the SQL side and because each SQL instance connects to each data node, you can rapidly ingest data in parallel, thus increasing performance. Now this is a great solution if you have those always-on availability groups waiting for failover, as these idle resources can now be placed in a poly-based scale group, thus increasing computational efficiency. So we at Thoroughgood hope you enjoyed learning about the latest SQL and Polybase offerings. If you have any questions or are interested in learning more about Polybase and how it can benefit your organization, Please don't hesitate to reach out to me or any of my colleagues. My contact information is shown here. I encourage you to visit us at thoroughgood.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn all about our upcoming marketing events. Thank you for watching.